Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday morning, it's back to school morning. Well, not back to school, back to school. Schools are still closed. But it is, we've just had a half term. Here in England, the kids have had a week off doing schoolwork at home. And it's now back to doing schoolwork at home. If you are new around here, I am mum to my own 16 year old and I'm also a foster carer that currently has, I'm a short term foster carer and I have two, I'm calling them toddlers now. I think I'll put them in the toddler category, so two little ones. It's a random weekday, February 2021, in national lockdown, although we are getting an announcement this evening, I think it's an announcement today um, from our Prime Minister Boris about the potential reopening of schools and just like our, what does he call it, the roadmap of easing lockdown. But right now it is just before nine, we would normally do pee with Joe. I have my pee with Joe top on, but in fact, I was going to say, like, I spoke to Stephen last night and Stephen's not getting up quite in time for it. He just wanted to have a bit more of a lion ease back into the whole schooling thing. 16 year old, hey. Um, I wasn't going to bother, but actually the little kids do quite like doing it and like we do squats and things. So I think I will stick it on for the little kids. Do you want to do Joe? Yeah. Should we put Joe on? We do some squats? Yeah, there we go, we'll put it on. <laughs> yeah. There he is, yeah, there he is. Three, oh, ready? Two, one, holy, holy! Your toes. Your toes. That's it. Toes. Toes. Up. 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 Is it squat? Squat. Pee with Joe all done, although the kids gave up after like a jog and a few squats. They were they were rubbish this morning. Um, I'm gonna set them up with, I was sorting some stuff out yesterday and I found this huge big box and then these big boxes here. So I'm gonna set them up with like some boxes. What kids don't love playing inside cardboard boxes. Set them up with cardboard boxes and some toys and things to play with for a little while whilst I had an idea for a video or like a video series. Let me know if this is of interest. Um, to do kind of my recommendation of toys for various different ages because I'm a well, I'm an ex a qualified primary school teacher, I used to be a primary school teacher, I specialised in early years, so like under fives, and then I was a child minor for many years, and obviously now a foster care of under fives, and I feel like I've got quite um, a good like knowledge base, things that they both enjoy and that are really good for them developmentally. And so I thought that might be an interesting little video series. Let me know if that is of interest to you. But what I thought now is I was going to go around and try, like you've seen how many, like if you've been around, you've seen how many toys we have in this house. It's ridiculous. It's a cum accumulation over of many, many years of like my mum used to be a childminder and then I was a childminder and obviously having Stephen. Um, there's a lot of toys. It's something that I really need to try and whittle down to be honest. But um, I'm going to go around and try and gather up some of the things that, uh, that I do have that I think are like really good toys, like inspiration for these videos. If you haven't seen and you don't know what I'm talking about, this is the <laughs> the garage and the toy situation. It's ridiculous. Here I've gathered together some not six months things here. I don't think Stephen's alarm has um woken him up. I'm gonna go and see. Hello. Waking up didn't happen, did it? <laughs> Do you know what time it is? No. Nope. Nope. He snoozed his alarm. I'm about to sleep. He's getting up now though. It's a few hours later, Stephen has got up and he's started school. He's done his maths lesson. He's now on to the next lesson. He's working upstairs and then he comes down. Between each lesson he comes down and like talks about what he's been doing and just like plays with the kids for a little bit and has a break. And um, we were just having a little <laughs> quick chat about what if the plan is for him to return to school in his year to return to school on the 8th of march like would he does he want to go back and he's just like no <laughs> i'm happy i'm like hey i don't know but uh that's what he said i think it probably is more to do with having to get up and out of the house in the morning rather than actually being in school and seeing friends and stuff um, but it's turning out to be quite a nice day the sun is coming out so 
I am just, it's like almost lunch time, so I'm just sorting out some lunch for the kids and for myself. I haven't had breakfast, I'm not that hungry. We had like a massive tea last night and I'm stuffed from it, so I'm just air frying. Bit of a random weird thing to have first thing, but I'm air frying some carrots and some potatoes for myself. Um, I've got a tomato sauce, a homemade tomato sauce that I'd made a while ago from the freezer. We're having like a freezer week this week for teas and things, which is wonderful. The last two weeks or so, whenever I've cooked something, I've double cooked every, everything. So we've got like this evening, I've just got a goulash out of the freezer. Then we've got like a shepherd's pie in there. We've got like taco um, vegetables and stuff. So it's gonna be a nice easy week in terms of cooking, just grab stuff out of the freezer. But uh, for now, yeah, I'm gonna get these kids sorted with a tomato pasta, I think. Maybe with some cheese or something. Beep beep, is it ready? It's all going on in here. Got the pasta cooking, this tomato sauce that is still frozen that I need to sort out. I'm gonna eat it now so that then I can sort the kids out. Oh, oh it's hot. Yeah. It's hot, so be careful, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Um, yeah, we've got some contact calls and stuff in a little while, so I need to get on with this. Are you trying to find things on the floor to eat? It's a bit dirty. Oh, here we go. Sarah's, yours will be ready soon. Are you hungry? Nice easy one for the kids. The pasta, the tomato sauce that I grabbed from the freezer that was made with loads of veg in it. It has like carrots and celery and spinach and kale and stuff all like whizzed up. I think actually I made it on a vlog a while ago. And then I just added a bit of cheese and some sweet corn from the freezer. We finished with the contact calls for the day. And, <laughs> hello, we've just come upstairs. To be honest, we don't really, this is how bad lockdown is getting. Stay there. <laughs> how bad lockdown is getting. I'm just like moving rooms in my house, like mix it up a little a little bit like the kids have obviously got toys and stuff in their bedrooms we don't really i just tend to like come and like bring the like a bag down or a box down or whatever and play downstairs in the lounge but I'm sick of that lounge i feel like i've been in there for the past year so we've just come upstairs to one of the kids bedrooms and they're making a complete mess but that's fine it's just nice to look at some different <laughs> walls i think it is lovely so we are going to go out or a little bit just around the corner. I think Stephen is potentially almost finished with school. Stephen, do you want to do anything before? Like, well, I was thinking of just going around to the park for 10 minutes. Would you rather get your work done and do it, or do you want to go now, or? Go now. Should we just nip around? Just like literally just for 10 minutes just to get out and yeah, finish up what you're doing or whatever, and then, yeah, okay. Have you got your shoes on? Yeah. Let's go then. Ready? Is it warm? Oh, I don't think we need our coats. Oh, what a lovely day. Catch! Oh, you got it. <laughs> See how high this ball goes? Whoa. Oh, I don't think I saw it. Where is it? <laughs> oh, I have no idea. <laughs> it goes up high anyway. Like, would you say as high as the trees? They're pretty cool balls. Moon balls, they're called. I'll link them down below. I bought, with me, I bought a moon ball and one of these they're good for in the in like a pool or something, like bounce on the water. I bought one of each and Stephen did as well. You ready? Catch! We're all done, we're gonna go home. Kids are gonna have a sleep. Stephen's gonna do his last lesson of the day. Kids have gone up for a little afternoon sleep. It's gotten quite late. What time is it? 3.39. Stephen's just come downstairs, he's finished 
his, well, his school day, he's finished his English, he's finished his whole school day. I am just making myself some lunch. Yeah, it's late for lunch. I don't know what I'm doing, really fine onion and adding some mushrooms and <laughs> some tomatoes and some spinach. I don't really know. Um, but we are gonna watch an episode of 100. We have about two or three episodes left, I think, and then we're done with like all of the whole five seasons or however many there are. Lovely sleep. Ooh. And the Prime Minister, Clearly. Good evening. Thank you very much. Oh, he looks like he's had a hard day, doesn't he? They want it to become more manageable. They want it to be much more like the which of course. Twice weekly testing of secondary school and college pupils and asking them to wear face coverings for the rest of this time. From the 8th of March, all children in England will go back to school. Um, and once again, if they'll visit their peer, we'll just go through it straight away. Um, you just don't want to get up, do you? And seeing that it does work and it is Everything else is effective. kind of a like. To restart our lives and do the conference. Twice weekly. Twice weekly. Twice weekly. Twice weekly. Before the end of the Easter holidays. Well, there you go. We just watched the press conference. What do you reckon? Let me know down below. I honestly didn't think that all kids would be going back on the 8th of March. I thought that maybe they'd stagger it, stagger it a little bit, but uh, no, everyone back. So we're all on the 8th of March. Stephen isn't so keen. He's 16. He doesn't want to have to get out of bed in the morning. Um, but they're going to have to take two tests. I think, I think I heard it right, that secondary school pupils will have to take two tests a week. I need to check on that information, but that's pretty crappy, isn't it? But more than the 8th of March, roll on the 21st of June, just before my birthday. My birthday is the 26th of June, which hopefully if everything, you know, goes to plan with the vaccines and the easing of the lockdown by the 21st of June, we should have some assemblance of normal life back fingers crossed hey we shall uh, we shall wait and see i know i'm probably jumping the gun a little bit too much here but it's looking good potentially for foreign travel maybe <sighs> maybe not but i don't know but i'm just clinging on to that hope that we can do a foreign trip this summer we had a big plan to do like a big trip because of first even finishing school. So, um, yeah, I'm crossing my fingers for that. Maybe, just maybe, foreign travel <laughs> will be back by the summer and we can do the big trip. I think maybe Japan is on the list. I don't know how Japan is doing with COVID, actually. We have a few things. We have Japan, Mexico, Canada, a few, like, big trips, like, to go for, like, a month. Who knows if that is going to be possible by the summer. But I gotta cling on to the hope of it. 
otherwise I might just go bonkers but it was so nice to have a warm day today it's definitely kind of making me feel a bit more uplifted I think with everyone like this lockdown has been pretty crap with the weather being so rubbish and we're on the up there are brighter skies and better days ahead and I feel quite optimistic and positive about it. <laughs> I'm going to get into bed now, so thank you so much for watching today. Check out the description box for links to things that you may have seen within the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, I would love to have you here. I will see you soon. Bye bye.